Somebody submit, my lord. I am not taking sides in this case. No, no I know. Because your lordship has called. Oh, no, no. Actually, yes. dekhe, it's always beneficial to have no, senior no. counsel like yourself. I, I'm just because uh, uh, we are just thinking aloud how to proceed. Yes. And we'll be next be calling upon the attorney general as well. So, which which possible misconduct provision can you bring him under? There is a one, one provision in the code of conduct, Hamza, which relates to public public speech. Article two, up. Maybe you can read article two. I I I'll read that and then. Um, I read Article 2 for your Lordship, my Lord, but I think there's another provision which talks about I think it is number 5. Uh, yes, it's Article 5. May I very humbly submit? If you can, if it is to be stressed, it will fall under Article 5. Nothing beyond. I will come back to that also. It's functioning as it does in full view of the public, a judge gets thereby all the publicity that is good for him. He should not seek more. In particular, he should not engage in any public controversy, least of all on a political question, notwithstanding that, involve, that it involves a question of law. It's not, it's, not a, it's, a, it's not publicity he was seeking. He was, again, he was, let's call him a whistleblower. Is a whistle, every whistleblower, you will say is seeking publicity. What publicity he was seeking by this? Yeah, hey, yet up, you are assuming he was his burden will be on the person seeking his removal to show that he was seeking publicity. It's premised on that. No, no, As he, no, no, no. A, a judge gets all the publicity that's good for him, he should not seek more. So and then, then, then it will be that you are seeking publicity. In other words, you can't address bar councils. Yes, there will be the media there. So what? So, may I not engage in any public controversy. No, it says people least of all on a political. It's not the public. It says political question. Where is politics it, here? My There's no says, politics here. It says in particular, he should not engage in any public controversy. So if, if least of all on political no, matters. No, if suppose, let's suppose, let's take the worst case scenario. If the institution he is in, there is corruption. He should keep quiet. No. There is so a, what should he do? He, he should be writing to the Chief Justice. Oh, okay, he says failed. He be writing to the, failed, uh, failed. And if there is somebody... Then what should he do? He should he, keep quiet if, about if it. If there is someone approaching him, he, he has the power, he can issue contempt notice to that person. To, if See, anybody dares to approach him, to no influence him in any of his decisions... If there's is corruption, he, for instance, not this case, we're giving a simple thing. Yes. I'm, what I'm saying... And he, is some, that, his colleague is taking a bribe. A lot. He writes to the Chief Justice, he informs the Chief Justice, he doesn't do anything. A lot. He gets frustrated a lot. Okay, maybe the frustration level comes to a point that I'll go public now. Okay, so fine, you can the other person against who he's alleged and himself. You can certainly hold him to task by saying prove this allegation, and the other person who's alleged it will say you made a false allegation. I'll show it, which is exactly what's happened in this case. But Lord, may I, may I so how, how, this is which other article can you rely upon? This is the only. This is the only article I suppose, but there is an article which was invoked in the order itself. Which what, one was? Well, that? Is, huh? Kindly read second para of article two. I, please, I'm going to read that. Right. Second para. Should I? Second para of article. In two. the matter of taking his seat and of rising from his seat, he shall be punctilious in point of time, mindful of the courtesies, careful to preserve the dignity of the court while maintaining an equal aspect towards all litigants as well as, as well as lawyers appearing before him. He should be careful to preserve the dignity of the court. Yes. Yes. This is all. But Lord, I think but if they, they, you are they, saying it comes under this too. Lord, it, what is your what I'm saying is that these are the provisions which can be. No, no. Tell me which one. My Lord, I said Article Five and Article Two, subparagraph Two also comes within that yeah, because. My Lord, yeah, from the sir, we are we are, we are we have an advantage in having you before us. All right, I'm grateful for See, you. So, so, so we the advantage is. You are now well versed with SJC matters. A lot. Okay. The other SJC matters where you are proceeding again. One is finishing a complaint. Right? You don't have to inquire into great details of every frivolous kind of allegation. You can just dispose it of, consign it to the record or whatever it's called. But where are you proceeding against a judge? 
Why you proceed against the judge with a view to remove him? So you have to give him some. I mean, here you may be conflicted as a lawyer. <laughs> I'm not saying conflicted in this case.